Hi, the beautiful animated infographic you will learn to create today looks like this. The infographic visualizes the concept of growth. On a click, we show our first success like this, then the second success, the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, the sixth one, and the final one. Though it looks complex, it's fairly simple to create this infographic. I'll show you how to do it from scratch right now. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. Here I am on a new slide. The first step is to draw the petals of the flower. First, let us go to AutoShapes Gallery, pick up the oval tool, hold the shift button down and draw a circle. Then press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and place this right next to the previous one. Ensure that they both are aligned properly by selecting both of them and by using Align Middle option. Then go to Merge Shapes, which is available in shape format, Merge Shapes and say Shape Intersect. Now we've got our flower petal ready. Then go to shape fill and give it red color and then go to shape outline and give it a much stronger red color. Right click, go to format shape and then the fill needs to be having a little bit of transparency, say around 25%. You can see that this is the effect we are looking for and you can even increase the thickness of the line as well, maybe to around say 2.25 points. Beautiful. Next, let us create a duplicate of this by hitting Ctrl D and then place the duplicate right below the previous one. And then let us increase the transparency all the way till 100% so it cannot be seen. And then go to shape outline and say no outline. Let us select both of these shapes and press Ctrl G. Now what we have got is a ghost petal to an original petal. Now let us create a duplicate of this first one and then let us give this a spin animation. Go to animations, go to emphasis and go to spin animation. Now let us go to animation pane and then open the animation event, go to effect options, go to amount and then give the custom rotation to 15 degrees. You need to enter the number and hit enter. So that particular animation is accepted. Then let us go to OK. Now this is the direction to which it goes. Now we don't really want it to be that slow. We need to have this reduced to say around 0.75 seconds. Then let us create a duplicate of the same thing and then let us go to the animation event, go to effect options. This time the same 15 degrees needs to be in the counterclockwise direction and say OK. So that is how it moves. Now let us take the previous one, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate. This time let us change the rotation to 30 degrees. So let us go to custom and say 30 degrees, 30 degrees clockwise and say OK. Now we can take the same thing, press Ctrl D and this time we are going to have this with 30 degrees counterclockwise and say OK. Now we have five petals. Now all we need to do is to select all of them, go to align center and then go to align middle. So everything is stacked one on top of the other. Now we need to have all the animations happening simultaneously. So we'll say with previous, the first one happens on click. So when I go to slideshow, the way the animation happens is like this. On a click, you can see that the flower flowers. Now let us escape and then let us resize this. While selecting everything, let us hold the shift button down and reduce the size to that much. Let us keep this to one side. Now the next step is to draw the plant which has these flowers. Let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery once again. Go to Basic Shapes and pick up this isosceles triangle shape. And then let us draw one big isosceles triangle like this. Go to Shape Fill and give this a dark grey color. Go to Shape Outline and say No Outline. Now we need to create the side branches. For that I am going to create a duplicate of this and then adjust the size ever so slightly like this and then let us rotate this and then place it to one side like this. Then press Ctrl D and then let us have this flip horizontally and place it over here. Then once again take this, 
hold the control button down while you click and drag to its new position you can adjust the size like this and then make a copy of this by pressing ctrl d and then flip horizontally and place it to the other side now let us select this flower which we drew earlier and then place it over here and then let us rotate this ever so slightly like this so it resembles a bud if you want to rotate this more precisely you can always go to right click go to size and position and then use this rotation angle i am keeping it to around 40 degrees then let us hold the control button down and place it to the other side rotate and say flip horizontal and then place it right at this place now once again let us select this whole thing and then hold the control button down and then place it over here make sure that you are selecting all of the elements and that is very important they are all stacked one on top of the other and that is what causes the beautiful animation to happen once again let us select all of these hold the control button down and place it over here and then finally let us create another duplicate of this and then place it right on top and let us place it over here now when we see the animation involved we have these many animations there are five sets of animations that are happening now as the flowering happens we need to have the corresponding label come out so we are going to have label one so i'm just going to keep this very simple let us increase the font size to 20 and let us keep this to this side and this is going to be wiped out into existence as soon as this flowering happens so let us have this placed right after this animation event you can see this here we'll say after previous exactly the same way let us make a copy of this and call this label 2 and it is the same thing we are going to have this animation happen right after the second flower flowers label 3 after previous label 4 after previous label 5 after previous done now let us look at the animation by going to slideshow on a click we have the first flower flowering and then the label is shown then the second one third one fourth one and the fifth one of course you can have these ones wipe from right so that is going to be a lot more natural so once it is done like this we have the labeling happening like this and it looks really beautiful i would be adding this template to our comprehensive all-in-one powerpoint bundle the bundle already has a vast collection of such animated concepts for example, this one from seed to tree can be seen taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. It shows the various stages of growth. Another way to show the same idea is like this. We have the first set of leaves coming out and then we have the second stage shown like this and then the final stage shown like this. About the templates in the bundle, you can click on the link in the description box below this video. If you want to learn how to create another animated PowerPoint infographic, we have created a tutorial called Tell a Story with Growth Animation Effect. I will leave a link to this tutorial in the description box below the video and you can watch the video by clicking on the link right here. And if you want to sign up to our 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas 5-day free email course, you can click on the link shown on the screen. I'll see you in the next video.